In this video, I'm going to show you how to use generative answers with Power Virtual Agents along with Bing Custom Search as the search provider. Many people are using generative answers inside of Power Virtual Agents today, and they have their configuration set up much like this. So if you have like this bot, and let's say that I wanted to um, generate answers. And in this case, um, the Power Platform Conference is going to be coming into Las Vegas with MGM Resorts as the destination. So I'm just going to use it as an example here uh, today. So if you notice here, a lot of people have it set up just like this, where you have like just a .com in here through a public website. But what if I actually want to control the content on a, on a public website that I want to be able to return the results for. Um, the way to do this is that we're going to convert over to using Bing custom search uh, versus just using Bing in general for our website. So let's look at this, because if you notice here, we, all, we have like limitations, by the way, to the number of uh, the number of sites that you can put here. So if I come over here to the system topic and I go to conversational boosting, what you'll see here is I can edit the data source. And again, if you if you read the documentation on this, you'll find that you can put up to, f I think, four in this particular thing. And it's right here. So you can see four different public websites. So if I wanted to limit it down to only like a certain set of pages within a website that I want to feed into the generative answers um, solution so that if I wanted to control the content a little bit more tight, tightly, then I may want to only send in certain web pages within this particular case. So let's, let's take a look at how we could do that. So you'll notice here that there's actually a drop down list and it says search with Bing custom search. And I'm going to go ahead and make that change. Notice that now it's asking for a configuration ID. Now the question is, is how do I get that configuration ID and how do I go about this? Well, the way that you do this is we're going to move over to this website, which is uh, customsearch.ai. When you go in and do this, it'll make you sign up for an account if you haven't already got one. And then in this case, I went ahead and signed up for my account um, and I just used my personal uh, MSA account to be able to do this. And then I created this instance in here called Hotel Search. Now, in this Hotel Search, you'll see here that what I've done is that I went to the MGM Grand Only's website, and I started looking at certain things. And so I was looking at, oh, well, let's put in some amenities. And so I got this URL here, and I've placed it in. Now, once you've done this and you uh, add in the URLs you want. Um, I notice I said don't include sub pages. I just want this one page. Now you can come over here and you can try out the search experience and such. But once you get done, you'll you'll publish it. Now once we've published it, it'll move it into production. And this right here is my custom configuration. So I'm just going to copy that, and then I'm going to go back over. And I'm going to paste this in right here. And we're going to save it. And now that we're saved at this point, now what you'll see is that we're using Bing Custom Search as the provider of the information. So if I come in here and I say, what are the pool hours? What we're going to get an answer from is only the amenities page. And you see here, it answered the question, but it's tied to this one page. So the only thing I'm going to be able to ask questions and get answers on is content on that page. So just to show you a demonstration of how easy this is to kind of change and manipulate, what we're going to do is we're going to jump back over to our configuration here. And we'll look at this and we'll say, oh, wait a minute, there is a page just about pools. And you can see here, it's got tons of information about all the different pools and the details and 
and things of this nature. Nature. So what I want to do is I actually want to grab the URL for the pool. I'm going to come back over here and just drop this in. And now if I try to add this, you're going to see that it says, oh, you can't go more deeper than two sub pages. Well, that's because I'm saying that I want to be able to include sub pages. So what I'm going to do is just say no, because all I want is just this one page of content. And then now that we've done this, you could see we, we could go test it and ask questions about it and all that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and publish this. And if you notice by clicking go to production environment, I didn't change. This didn't change. All that's changed now is the ability for it to have more pages in, in my search results. So if we click back and we go back over here, and we ask the same question. Notice we have not changed our configuration here. And I say, what are the pool hours? What we're going to see now is we'll actually be able to have more content at our disposal. And now I actually get the verbose answer about the pools. And notice now, not only is that, but I also have this URL available and you can see that it's using that and giving the cross reference. This is really useful for people who are trying to figure out how to be able to scope down the content on their on their website. Like maybe you don't want everything on your website as the mechanism for you to be able to uh, answer questions over because maybe you don't want to include your support site um, or maybe you only want your support site maybe you only want a certain set of pages or a certain set of articles to be uh, fed into the open ai model so that you can really control how this thing is going to answer questions and what content is really key uh, this is very helpful also if you think about all the content on a web page and if your content isn't staying fresh, like if you have a whole bunch of information on your website and you're worried about um, only being able to get the latest financial report to be something that you're wanting to get access to, you can just update the uh, search provider or the custom search to only point at the latest uh, financial report and without really having to change your bot at all. One last thing that I would point out is be aware that in this, you also have the ability to do a formula. So if I had a situation in this case, like if I had with MGM Resorts, so they've got the MGM Grand and they've got the Bellagio, if I wanted to, I could even take a formula and figure out based upon a variable. So if someone was staying at the Bellagio, and send them to only the content uh, for a Bing custom search for the Bellagio. And if I was doing it for the MGM Grand, only, only do the pages for the MGM Grand. So you can see this could be super powerful uh, for customers to be able to use this. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to be able to do this. Again, thanks for coming to my channel and watching our videos around uh, all the new capabilities that are inside of PVA. Stay tuned. I will continue to make more videos. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully you'll find some really cool new bots to go build. Have a great day.